Okay, so I want something easy to pick today. And it is, of course, a Yale rim cylinder. So I've got a number of them. I'm going to be sending them off. I don't need all of them. Whether or not I actually keep them or not is another question. I do, so I do collect uh, Euro cylinders, but uh, yeah, I don't really collect these rim cylinders and I don't really plan to I think the only one I have really as a collection piece is the Chubb one hey don't know what to think about it but probably just gonna clean the ones I have and send them on to someone else so they can either keep them for themselves or make them into challenge locks or whatever even make a challenge lock out of them myself if I want. So three click four and five. Five gave that full set there, which means there's spools. So we there's number two. Two, I think, giving us chance of rotation. So now I need to look for more counter rotation since we still got this full set. Now I can feel something solid around the back here. Mm, I think it's number five again. Trying to push on him, but the thin pick tip is making out. Yeah, got got him. So now we have to find the next binding pin. There's one I think that gave us something. Two, nothing. Three. Four, five. It's not open anyhow. I'm gonna change my pick to the this uh, golf club pick. I call it from the Honest set. It's my favorite profile from that. Not because I like golf or anything, just. I like the um, rounded pick tips more than the pointy, pointy sharp ones because they require less precision. Feels like there's counter rotation coming from the back there. Now we're getting feedback. I think that was number two that gave us the feedback. So let's quickly get this. Very windy outside. Okay. So take that out. Let's just zoom out. Okay. So now we just have to take the clip off the back and hopefully not lock it up because this one's a little bit strange. These clips are a bit strange. Yeah, have to pry them off but without locking them up. Just have to push them off, basically, or pull them off. There we go. Okay, that's that clip off. So now we need the plug follower. So, have to figure out where we've got that stored away. Okay. I 
shall use the plug follower by Foxy. So, I'll rotate this like that, I think, and then put the plug follower in the back. Okay. Okay, that worked all right. Now, all those chambers had to be picked. And of course the keyway is like that. The AO keyway. One is a... is a... What is one? Well, one looks a little bit tapered. Be honest. Looks a little bit tapered. We'll get a better look in a minute. Number two is really long, so it looks a tiny bit tapered at the top. Three definitely looks tapered at the top, and another longer one. And number four. What's number five? Number four. Yeah, they all have a little bit of a taper at the top, but I think that's meant to make the action of the key and the key turning in the lock smoother and more reliable. So I will use go from the back first, so from number five. Number five is a uh, Number five is a nice sharp little spool. Nice. Number four is a standard. Number three is a it's a mushroom. Nice. Wasn't expecting that. Number two is a standard and number one is a a really long but a really long mushroom or yeah it's a really long mushroom now these could be also castle pins but I think I think it's just a mushroom pin and then all of our springs are those coppery coppery springs so let us just line everything up nicely here and then we shall have a look. Okay. So, shall line it like that, move that down, we'll zoom it in, zoom it in. Okay, so we can see here that. Yeah, the pins are still a little bit dirty, but all the springs are the same. This one in particular, this number three, has that tapering at the top. They all have a little bit of that, but that's good for oversetting. Um, the number one here, my favorite, I think. Look at that, that's a, a mushroom pin, quite a long one. You really don't see a lot of these, you normally see spools, so I was not expecting that. That's nice. We have just a standard pin there and a little baby mushroom pin. The difference between a mushroom pin is see that kind of cone shape to it? Just uh, zoom in a bit there. See that kind of cone shape to it? A spool. It's not a spool after all, it is a mushroom pin as well. Look how nice and sharp that. That mushroom pin is at the bottom there. Normally a spool is even. The gap in the middle is even. It's not kind of angled like that, like a mushroom pin. So that's pretty nice. I was not expecting a lock here with mushroom pins in them. Sweet. All right. Well, that's all we have. And uh, I hope you enjoyed that. Thanks.